Eventually, we arrived just outside Abu Dhabi, where Jason planned to work on his camel robot jockey in a Bedouin tent. Well, if I'm going to get this camel bot to be more efficient, then I need to sketch out a few ideas. Um, luckily, I've got a camel <laughs> right next to me. They're just wandering in the desert. The robots that they currently use are sort of about the size of a, of a cat, I would say. My first idea is to get rid of the little black uh, head on the top of the robot and replace it with something more useful, like an IP camera, a wireless IP camera. So the camera's sending data to a tablet or a laptop track side where the, the person controlling the robot is, but that person can also send back commands. There could be a kind of two-way flow of data, video from the robot, maybe position data, speed data, if we put a GPS module in there, that's a good idea. All I've got to do, though, is make that all work. So, um, yeah, let's just get this done. My robot jockey enhancements were coming along nicely. I'm really pleased that I found this TP-Link camera. It's a wireless IP camera. That means uh, it sends video and audio data over internet protocol. Because via this router, which I've sourced here, uh, I can send that trackside really, really easily. The other cool thing about the TP-Link is it's movable. Look, on two axes. And this is very sexy from ASUS. It's the e-slate. And it's a large format tablet. It's lightweight, and it's going to be a really interesting little partnership between the camera and that, and that slab. So I've got to get some audio that can be sent to the robot and then in turn spoken uh, in some way to the camel. This is the LS100 from Olympus, and it's one of several professional palm-sized audio recorders. Ahmed, are you there, dude? Um, I need some Arabic phrases okay. so the camel will understand that. Faster. Jaldi, jaldi, Ahmed, when you say jaldi, jaldi. Okay, left. Left, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, right. Yamin, yamin, yamin. Finally, forward. Asra, asra, asra. I don't know how you do it where you live, but we do this. All right? Yeah. We do this. Boom! And we go like this. I oh, know it's the chest, it's the chest for. Oh, all right, we go. No, yeah, good. You... Yeah, thanks, man. Thank you. I think Polly was impressed when she arrived in my little Bedouin tent uh, and, and, and saw that all the components that actually now, you know, come, come into shape, that the robot was kind of working. Chase, I'm loving your work. Isn't it cool? Yes, that is very cool. Although, I hadn't actually tested it in motion. <laughs> OK, you have to move on now. There you go. There's a hurdle, you've got to jump, you've got to jump the cushion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> that is brilliant! I think I can say you say what? Even saying it now is very surreal on all fours in the middle of the desert with a robot strapped to my back and encouraging me to walk forward. <laughs> Can't believe I'm even saying that out loud. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mum. <laughs> will you unstrap me, please? Yes, I will, darling. <laughs>